In this video I will show you how to glue wooden parts made of MDF or even PAL, any, any part of uh, wood that you might have that is broken. This is a, a toy wooden house and I'm not sure, This I think it's MDF, looks like MDF to me, this uh, compressed fiber of uh, wood layers and it's important to keep the original part as it broke off, don't try to clean it or anything maybe a little bit but to fit the the main piece it's better to have it like that it's not gonna be perfect like the original one but it could work you can even fix it and paint it if you wanted to so the idea is to have it first make sure that you can actually fit this small part on the bigger one you could have two big parts it depends and this, I think here I had a problem with the layers because they were not going, getting compressed properly between them. But I was really only trying to make sure that the shape is right and I'm ready to set the glue. When you have uh, enough of playing with the parts and to make sure they can fit together, it's time for the glue. Any wood glue, really strong glue, I found this one, it's really, it's not like I prefer this brand, it's just, this is the first cheapest glue I found and I got it. I want in my keyboard. That piece went in my keyboard. Yeah, it didn't go in the keyboard, but I don't know where it is. It's gone now. That there was a small piece when I removed the pull tab, and it also has a lid here. It's nice to be able to close the glue box, glue bottle, for future use. So with the nice removed uh, sliced tip of the wood bottle, now the wood glue bottle now. I apply the glue and it's good to have it on both surfaces I could have applied on one then the other with the bottle but I thought why not just do it like this also a little bit of a tip when you put the wood glue cap back on put a little bit of paper any paper tissue paper and turn it upside down so the glue forms a bit of a nice cap sealed so the wood doesn't get dry inside the bottle basically yeah this was really a bit of a difficult part i didn't have the proper clamp for this you should have the proper glue i will put links in the description for glue clamps what you would need also it's useful to have an um, extra piece of wood or any material that is straight to keep the parts together here i had to improvise a little bit i used this uh, clamp but it's working so yeah if you have a clamp like this that's gonna work. Most important is to have the uh, even pressure, equal pressure, and um, yeah, yeah. It's if you have another clamp, usually you, you should have two clamps with a piece of wood between them on both sides, and then it would be perfect. But this worked also. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this, and let me know if you fix your wooden parts. Clean your fingers before it gets dry.